Prosit Dibs is not only a fascinating character, but in my opinion, he brilliantly captures one of my favorite aspects of the Star Wars world. In this video, we will be looking into the Tenth Brother, the complete story of fallen Jedi Prosit Dibs in detail. But before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. Let's get started! About Prosit Dibs Prosit was first featured in the Mace Windu comic, a program that I myself did not enjoy. Nevertheless, I was overjoyed when the character made a comeback in the Darth Vader comic. I believe it's important to note that, for whatever reason, Star Wars has the capacity to cast new light on topics that I previously had little interest in. Another recent instance is Dr. African from Rogue One, telling us more about Borg Gullet. That scene in the movie is my least favorite. Even yet, I was eager to find out more about his species and was prepared to do so. Occurrence However, Prosat Dibs helped me to become more aware of this occurrence. If someone had asked me after I had done reading the Mace Windu comic, hey, do you want to know what happens to that guy who betrayed Mace after the comic? I would have said, no, not really. Instead, they presented a new Inquisitor before jokingly mentioning that it was the same person. In retrospect, it makes sense that it is. I wasn't looking for him though, and right now, I think the connection is so awesome it makes total sense, and I adore it. This is the Prosat Dib story then. The Jedi became aware of droid activities on the planet Hack soon after the Battle of Geonosis. Kit Fisto Kit Fisto, recently promoted Jedi Knight Rissamino and Prosit Dibs, a blind but very intuitive Jedi, were all members of the Team Mace Windu assembled to conduct the investigation. They arrived on the planet using the Force, where they confronted and vanquished Separatist forces right away. The Jedi were taken to underground tunnels by the inhabitants of Historic, where they were split up. When Fisto and Dibs discovered a mass grave of villagers, the blind Jedi expressed his belief that the Jedi had failed to keep the peace. Kit asserted that all they could do at this point was minimize the number of fatalities. After seeing that the Separatists were mining his rigs for its valuable minerals, he came to the conclusion that their goal was not to protect the citizens of Historic, but rather to secure the planet for tactical reasons. Fight Angle the two got into a fight after he accused Mace Windu of deceiving them, and Dibs eventually won. He was brought back to the Jedi Council and put on probation there. Prosat was forced to spend the following three years working in the Jedi Archives where he proceeded to turn against the Light and must have escaped the Jedi Purge. Along with a number of other Jedi who had perished, he joined the ranks of the Imperial Inquisitors and was given the title of Tenth Brother. He went to Mon Calo, where a Jedi was supposed to be hiding, together with Darth Vader, the Sixth Brother and the Ninth Sister, one year after the Galactic Empire rose. With the aid of their specialized clone warriors, the Inquisitors located their former buddy and cornered him. Order 66 However, the Jedi managed to reactivate Order 66 using some type of mind trick, at which point they started firing on all Force users, including the Inquisitors. In the crossfire, the tenth brother was killed. Only two comic books, the five-issue Mace Windu miniseries and the Burning Seas arc of the Darth Vader comic, have so far featured Dib's story. Due to the fact that I didn't find anything of the Mace Windu comic to be interesting, as I previously stated, I don't think I could truly suggest it. However, the Darth Vader comic has consistently been fantastic. To be honest, the revelation of the identity of the tenth brother made it seem somewhat worthwhile to me. That's all I'll talk about today, but it made me go back and appreciate the Maze comic much more. I also think it's quite cool how Star Wars can take ideas that are only okay one minute and turn them into ones that are immensely fun the next. In the comments section below, please let me know what you think of Prosit Dibs, the Mace Windu comic, or the Darth Vader comic. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Leave a like, share with your friends and families, and jot down your thoughts in the comments section below.